Hey guys, this is Ray, and in this video I want to show you guys how to install Windows 7 from scratch. Basically, I was having some issues with my computer. Nothing I couldn't fix. I decided, you know what, it's around the time. Let me do a clean install, start from scratch. I decided to grab the camera and show you guys how to do this. Now before I continue, anybody could do this. But if something does go wrong with your installation, don't blame me. Before we start doing anything, before you delete, before you do anything, you wanna back up everything in your computer. You wanna back up all your drivers. If you don't know how to do that, you wanna go to the device manager. And once you're in the device manager, write down the names of the devices you have, or better yet, find some software that could back up these uh, drivers for you. If not, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell.com, download all the necessary drivers before you continue. So just make sure you get all the appropriate drivers, at least have the Ethernet drivers for your computer. Everything else you could download from the manufacturer after we're done with the video. Now the computer that I have here, I chose all the parts, but if you have a Dell or uh, HP, the installation might be a little different. The reason, there might be a partition that has all the setup files hidden in that particular part of the drive. So you have to figure out how to access them. Some manufacturers give you a CD that access that particular partition. Some of them have a key you have to press during the boot of the computer to access that particular partition. But in this case, I'm using an original copy of Windows uh, 7, my student copy of uh, Windows 7, Ultimate Edition. So here's what we're gonna do. We need to figure out how to get into the BIOS. Every computer is different. Uh, my computer, I hold the delete key while the computer's turning on and it takes me to this screen. Some of you guys might be F12, F2, F1, so you have to figure that out. Sometimes in the bottom left or the bottom right of the screen, it should tell you press F1 for setup, F2 for uh, the boot menu. Every computer's different. You found out how to get into the BIOS. Again, it might look completely different, different manufacturers. Here's what we need to do. We need to go to the advanced BIOS feature. What we really need now is the first boot. So you want to click the first boot and you want to make sure that the CD-ROM is first boot. Second boot, hard drive. Third boot, I got the CD-ROM again, but it doesn't really matter. The boot order should be like that. Your CD-ROM should be first, hard drive should be second. Once you do that, you want to escape. You want to go to save and exit. Press enter. It's going to ask you to save to CMOS. Press... Uh, why to save so hold on before i do that i want to insert my copy of windows 7. give me a second now i'm going to show you guys something right now i'm using a backup copy of windows 7. the student edition that i uh, own doesn't have service pack 1 integrated so i made an image of it and i integrated service pack 1 into my cd so basically it's the same thing it saves the hassle of uh, having to do a Windows update and installing the service pack. So, all right, so we're gonna save this. So if we did everything correctly, it should recognize the DVD. It should ask you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Just have to wait for this process to complete here. And once you see it, press any key on the keyboard and it should automatically start going. Press enter, let's see. There we go. Windows is loading files. This might take some time so I'm going to stop the camera here and when we get to the next screen start recording. Setup is starting, got to give it some time. Remember we're going to delete the drive so whatever you have in your C drive completely gone. Alright so you want to accept the license uh, terms, want to click next. Over here we have all the drives in my system, got a few hard drives so you got to be very careful you don't want to delete the wrong one, you don't want to lose your files. Usually, I rename my drives. As you can see, I call this one SYS for system drive. So I can format it and install Windows 7 here. So here's what you want to do. You want to go to format. So you know what? I'm going to format it again. Remember, it's doing a quick format. So usually, I like to do it two or three times just to make sure everything's gone. I'm pretty sure everything wiped the first time, but it's just a habit. And once you did that, just click next. Don't touch any other drives because it's going to install right to this partition. This one, partition one, which is my 500 gig drive. Next, and right here, it's copying files, and this is going to take a while. So we're almost done. Right now, it's installing updates. So what we have to do, we just have to restart the computer, or you could let this uh, restart on its own. So Windows is starting up. Let's just give it some time. 
As you can see, setup is updating registry settings. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. So it's set up starting uh, services and now completing installation. I don't know if you guys know this, but right here we have this bar. Just have to wait for the bar to completely reach over here. It should be completed. It's not gonna take that long. All right, so the computer restarted. Give it some time. Setup is preparing for the first time. Now it's checking uh, the video performance. Has to go through all these steps before uh, you can start using the computer. So all you have to do now is type your name. And click next. Password, I'm not gonna put a password. So next. And over here, it's asking you if you basically want to install updates. So, help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. Use recommended settings, install important and recommended updates. Help make internet browsing safer. Install important updates only or ask me later. And I'm going to select ask me later. Should be at the desktop any minute now. All right, so here we are. We are at the desktop. Now... I have internet, my video card is working, I got sound, but I still want to install some of the updated drivers. Now what I want to do, I want to go to the device manager. So check it out, before I go to the device manager, over here Windows needs to be activated. So over here you're going to click where it says change product key, you're going to put your product key, I'm not going to do that right now. And once you do that, activate your copy of Windows. Alright, so let's go to the device manager. I want to see how many drivers uh, are missing. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I don't have any screen capture uh, software at the moment. All right, so I got this device here. Got my uh, Belkin uh, serial uh, adapter. Have my two iLocks, and I have uh, my M audio card, which needs drivers. I'm not gonna really do that right now. Now, something I want to show you guys over here. I don't know if you guys can see that Service Pack One. So, like I said earlier, I integrated it into the CD. And I don't need to download that separately. That's pretty cool. Just saves me that whole step of downloading it, installing it. So I had to make an image of the original copy and do a couple of modifications to it. Which I can show you guys if you guys are interested. Just post in the bottom. And I'll be more than happy to show you guys how to integrate Service Pack into your copy of Windows. Now if you're one of my normal subscribers and you have Pro Tools, Reaper, whatever DAW you're using. You completed all these steps. Now all you have to do is click right here and this is going to take you to the video that I made how to customize windows for your DAW. But anyway guys, this is Ray. I hope you enjoyed this video. You see that subscribe button there? Click that. Subscribe to the channel. If I missed anything, post on the bottom. Check out the description. You're going to have my Google+, my Twitter. Check me out on those and I'm out of here. Later guys.